Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm Patricia McNeely located in Chicago and my channel is about twin flame ascension, symptoms, all of your new connections for abundance and romantic love. How are you today? In this video, I want to talk to you about the two main ways you know you are coming together with your twin for sure. Okay. I say it like this on purpose because I know that there's people out there that they say things like, oh, I have a twin flame and all they really have is a crush. Okay. So I want to clarify, like there's some really deep reasons that happen for you to be together and how do you know it in your own life? Okay. And how do you distinguish like a real journey from something that is like sort of a novelty? Okay. First of all, this is not a novelty. Let me clear that up right now. Okay. It's not a fleeting event that just waves in and out and, you know, something that, you know, someone can like write a little bit about and then say things like, it's not intended to be romantic. It's just intended to make you a better person. Seriously, you could be a better person without even having the activation. You had the activation on purpose to get this moving on purpose. There's a real thing happening here and it is going to become a worldwide phenomenon. Get on the train now. So the two major ways that you know, okay, there's two aspects of you that are really the telltale signs and these signs are going to be vividly real in your life. The first one is your health. Okay. I don't care what state of health you are in. You could be the healthiest person. You could be someone that, you know, does exercise and feels that you eat right and, you know, kind of living okay. Or you could be someone very, very ill. Okay, this is barring some injuries, okay, some life-threatening injuries that people have suffered. We're going to set that aside just a little bit for now to just talk about health, okay? General overall health. Your health starts suffering. You start to feel like a car that has blown a gasket and the mechanic is trying all kinds of stuff to try and find out what, you, what is going on with you. You have anxiety. You could have it chronically or from time to time. You have fluctuations in not only your energy level, but your sex drive, your desire, your general enthusiasm for life. You begin to feel withdrawn from times, maybe slightly angry, but you're not really sure what you're angry about or even if you should be angry, okay? Your health somehow seems to decline, but somehow inside you, deep inside your heart, you know that you're going to be okay and that there's something happening, but you're not quite sure what it is. I know what it is. <laughs> it's called twin flame ascension. What else about your health? The inner drive, okay? There's a part of you that should want to be alive, that should always want to thrive, not just survive, but like survive situations, survive health issues, get through it, um, taking you beyond suicide because suicide has been something that a lot of angelics have had to do. We don't even do it out of suicidal feelings. Like we don't have to be desolate just to do it. We just have to be like, well, I'm going to check out now I did my part. A lot of us can feel like that from time to time. Now, I'm talking about the inner drive to get to another level of living, okay? Not just surviving. And that sounds kind of hokey if you say it that way. Like, don't just survive, thrive, right? Go stitch it on a pillow. But the real feel of it, of I want to get through this. I'm here to do something. I'm important. Yes, you're important. And you're a part of this overall picture. We need you. Okay, we don't need you like just being someone who's breathing air here. We need you for that ripple effect. 
We need you here, healthy, whole, as whole as you can be, and rippling love everywhere you go. Got it? <laughs> so what about your health? Okay. The upliftment. Okay. What that means is you're in an upper position. In other words, you're the one bobbing along, even though everyone else at work or in your community is kind of like down here trudging along. You're like, do, 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 do. You literally have yourself six inches off the ground, lifted up by your high heart. That is no small feat. Trust me, because I do it and I do my routine on a daily basis to keep myself up. Not only does it keep my mood up, it keeps my health up. It keeps my spirits up. It helps me to help others. And it helps me to attract the things that I need and want for my life. For real. What is the second thing? And we're going to go into more depth in my class. But what is the second thing? The second way you know that you are coming together with your twin flame is Money. Yeah, money. How is money a part of this? Well, money is a modicum of expression in this level. Okay, it's how we put value on things. It's not only how we price things, it's what we set a fair value to you. Yeah, some of it's skewed. Like you people could value a non-fungible token or a piece of art and it's valuable to someone, and it's not even valuable to someone else because it's not their taste. Why someone likes a muscle car versus a Ferrari. Again, where are they placing value? Value is also about where do you spend your money? And if you're not spending it wisely, you're going to hit those bumps in the road. Your higher self wants you to get sensible. So what happens with your money situation if you are intended to be with your twin? Okay, not just intended, because that is the intention. The ultimate intention is you two are, will be together. What do you do on the way to that point? Okay, if you are still in a karmic situation, you will find it to be a shocking drain. Things come up, they you don't even know where you're going to get the money for it. You're going to find that you spin your wheels on certain things. You will find that certain things wind up being a waste of your time and effort. You will find that sometimes when it comes to money, you've actually been squandering it or squandering it on the wrong things. You may have found that you have a codependency with a partner who suddenly they leave one way or another. And there goes your retirement. There goes your stability. There goes your um, roof over your head, a person you thought you could count on, and they don't give a crap about you. Okay, why? Because quite frankly, you're the one who has to move. What else about money? You can't turn a blind eye to it. It does require some vigilance. It requires sense and sensibility. In other words, sensing things. Being sensible. That means having specific goals, objectives, purposes for your money. It means attracting the amount that you need for the life you want to have. Okay. And if that is attached to someone who is not someone you're supposed to continue with, you're going to feel it acutely. And I'm not saying that to make you scared. I'm saying that to open your eyes because the money topic begins to move for people. I have known people where they stay in situations and they've drained out $80,000 for their kids' college tuition. I And it could have been averted. That crisis could have been averted. They had money saved and that money had to go to a different purpose simply because they were hanging on for dear life on a sinking ship. Don't do that to yourself. I have seen people fight tooth and nail through the courts to get things that are absolutely a trivial. I want to encourage you that having the integration of your new twin flame body enables you to create more. But not only that, 
It enables you to do more with less. The principle of less is more without even being a minimalist is actually a huge part of who you are and who you're capable of being. You will find that some things just don't serve a purpose. But again, it's very individual. You get to customize your own life. So your thoughts of success do not have to be influenced by the outer world. Your thoughts of what is successful or what is a happy life, that's very personal. Only you can personalize and customize it and meld it together with your other half. What is the next thing about your money? Okay, and this is a real telltale sign. Your money begins to just decline somehow. Your income declines, you lose your job, you feel like you have to reinvent. You don't know what hit you. You don't know sometimes where is the next thing coming from. How are you going to build this up again? Okay, let me tell you something because I've been through it several times. <laughs> when I had a breakup, when I had my marriage breaking up, Oh boy, that was a doozy. And I had to take the wheel. I had to literally take charge because it started floundering at some point. It had to move beyond the bickering, beyond the tension, beyond the complete nonsense, the insensibility of fighting something that was actually soul driven. Let that sink in. Your soul drives certain things to improve your life. It doesn't look like it on the surface. It doesn't look like it on paper. You could be like, but look, look at my, look at, look at what's happening. Look at my balances. Or you could say to yourself, I've never had abundance. My parents, my grandparents, they worked like dogs. They worked like, you know, people until they went till their graves. They had poor health. Yeah, there is a plan for your money because you are intended to be unified, okay? You are intended to be unified. You are intended to be partners, including in your money situations. You may have said, well, in previous relationships, I had to sign a prenuptial or we had agreements, you know, or you could even say some of the nonsense misconcepts that are out there. Like, well, the males, the material one, shouldn't they do all of the material things? <clears throat> Wrong. I'm the female. I'm the spiritual one. I'm supposed to do woo-woo, doo-loo, doo-loo, all of these woo-woo things. <clears throat> you got it wrong. Okay, because no. You're intended to be two people on an amazing adventure, magically creating and manifesting the things that you want and need for your life. Now, this will include for children, okay? Money and children. Children are responsibilities. You took on those responsibilities. That is a dharma. Okay, that's not karma. You might think it's karma, but dharma. Dharma is a responsibility that you agreed to and your spirit and their spirit agreed to something. You bear a responsibility to those children to provide, to do the best that you can. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you something. My son got into one of the top universities, not in just, you know, the country, but the world. We didn't do it without working on it. We didn't do it without some grid work and some persistence. And he worked hard. I can say he earned it. Okay. But other people work hard and they don't get the opportunities. I'm not saying this as a ha ha, but what I did, I did not do as a stage parent going in and yelling at everyone and, you know, yelling at the teachers. Okay. We need to get off of the yelling at the teachers and the helping people all of the people that feel to help people, teachers do not become teachers because they want to be the police, okay? They don't want to police or parent your kid. They want to teach your kid. Don't expect them to. Now, when it comes to that, you have to be the 5D parent. You have to be the 5D parent where things are coming in at least into your awareness and 
into your circle of influence of what you can control and manage and what you don't have control over and what your soul has to help you with. These are the things that we forget when we stress, when we worry. And then, you know, some people keep going out and making more babies. Please, oh my God. You know, could we please stop propagating the planet with people that can't be supported properly? Can we take care of the issues at hand? How you do that is you do you. You do yourself, you do you as an individual, as a couple, and then as the outer world. Ch the children, especially minor children, if they are a part of you or if you're aware that your other half has some, and that awareness sometimes comes in your dreams. It doesn't come because you looked on Facebook. Stop relying on social media to tell you what's going on and start getting the real connections so that you feel an experience, okay? My experience of meeting my twins' children happened on another level where as soon as we greeted, I was overwhelmed with this feeling of bonding. It brought tears to my eyes. I was like, oh my God, oh my God. And the grid work I did to set up sports programs, I did this through my light body, not by going and signing someone up, but by actually getting in the feel of it and lifting the field with my energy, with my love energy. That's what I mean. You have to get those ripples out there. What about those of you whose children are troubled? Okay. The kids see a lot of stuff on social media. Are they binary, not binary? Are they this, that, and the other thing? And what is the world doing for them? The greatest generation ruined it for this generation. Okay. Be the divine parent. Be the 5D parent who helps them get through that. You don't argue with them. They need to feel what they feel. Help them get through it in a completely much higher way. You may have been invalidated. Do you want to be that parent that invalidates them? Or do you want to help them get swiftly through a lot of the stuff that's out there? That is what I recommend. Help them. But help them as a divine parent. Okay? Money. Money flow. Okay? You have connections to uh, a much higher connection for your abundant flow. Your abundant flow includes your money, your investments, your retirement, your health care, your fun, like travel and entertainment, all of that stuff. Where do you live? Do you have a nice house? Do you have dinner parties? There's a lot of people that think that their life is supposed to start when that one person shows up. No. Start it now. Get the light body connections going now. Now, this is this just as much as there are stages, there are things on the phase out. They're being phased out. And you have to be able to keep up with it. How do you do that? It's through your light body. If you are having any of the shocking drain on your resources, please let's get you some help with that. Okay, these are not easy topics. These are not easy topics. I've been helping people out for close to 30 years with their financial situations because prior to this, I was a banker. I did a lot of restructuring of debt and mortgages, and there is a lot I know about. I can do that coaching because I have lived it. Okay. There are things you can do. There are sensible things to take the fear out of it. There are new high heart connections for money, finances, financial well-being. And so if you are finding that these two areas of your life, health and money, are somehow fritzing out on you, they are just like where you're going, what am I fumbling here? I fumbled it. I'm messing it up. I can't seem to stop what's happening. Okay. It's like an iceberg. It's like there's all this stuff under here and up here. It looks like this and like, I don't even know where to begin. Do yourself a favor and start with your twin flame body.
That is the modality I created to start making it easier for you. And I have tools and I have homework. You have homework to do and we will get you moving. I've helped many people and I know this is going long. Please join. Okay. The links are below. Make sure that you're aware of this. Okay. And let it give you not just hope, but a certainty that you're here for real love. You're here for 5D love and able to balance like, woohoo, you're like, woo, look at me. I can balance multiple dimensions. I thrive here. I thrive here. I'm creating stuff. I got my spirit back. I am an entrepreneur. I am doing all these things. Things are flowing. Yes, they will, because that's how love works. And if you're plugged into the wrong things, time to get my help to unplug you so that you can get there. Have a good day. Whoops. Okay. Bye.